Hello, second grade. This is module seven, lesson five. Okay, today we are going to do another bar graph. And it looks like our title is pennies saved. And we're going to use this chart up here to fill in our data down here. So the first thing we need to add is our title, pennies saved. I took it from right here and moved it right here to title. Then we need to do our categories. How many categories do we have? One, two, three, four categories. They are Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So let's put Saturday down, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Now, in this column right here, how many pennies were saved on Saturday? 15. So I'm going to start at the bottom and go all the way up to the 15 line. There we go. Sunday, how many were saved? 10. So I need to start at the bottom and go all the way to this 10 line right here. There we go. Monday, how many were saved? 4. So bottom to what number? Four right here. Let's shade those in. And then Tuesday, how many were saved? Looks like seven. So from the bottom all the way to the seven line. I can just follow it along here. There's a seven. Let's shade it all in. Okay. So now that I have my graph completed with all of my data, I can answer some questions. I'm going to use my graph to answer these questions. Some of you are getting confused on them when, we're, when we've been doing it, the questions previously. All you have to do is look at your graph here. This is That's all you're doing. This tells you the answers. You might have to do a little extra adding or subtracting but you're getting all of your numbers and data from this graph here because these questions have to do with the graph. So the first is how many pennies did Calista save in all? So how many pennies did she save on Saturday? And are we going to, first we need to think, are we going to add or subtract? It says how many pennies in all. So that means we're going to have to to add. And we're going to add them all up. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. In all. Just think about those words. Okay, so how many did she save on Saturday? We go to our graph. We see, oh, she saved 15. So let's write 15. And then we're going to add plus, how many did she save on Sunday? Looks like she saved 10, so let's add plus 10. On Monday, plus 4. And on Tuesday, plus 7 equals. Go ahead and solve that on your own. Did you get 36? If you did, give yourself a kiss on the brain. Also, when you're doing these problems, you need to be showing your work, just like I'm doing here. I have 15 plus 10 plus 4 plus 7 equals. You're not showing me your work, and you're getting it confused because you're not actually working it out on your paper. Show me your work so that I know how you got your answer. Okay, the next question. Her sister saved 18 fewer pennies. How many pennies did her sister save? Okay, so we know that she saved how many pennies? We just answered that. We know that she saved 36. And how many fewer did her sister save? It says right here, 18. So are we going to add or subtract that? We're going to subtract because it says that she's, she saved 18 
fewer. And it's asking us how many pennies did her sister save. So if her sister saved 18 fewer, then we need to subtract 18 to find out how much her sister saved. So we'll go ahead and solve 36 minus 18. Eighteen is your answer. If that's what you got, give yourself a piece of the brain. Good job. Next question. How much more money did Calissa save on Saturday than on Monday and Tuesday? Now this is a two-part question. I want you to go ahead and solve this on your own, and then we'll compare answers when you're done. So push pause and then push play when you're done. Okay, so like I said, this is a two-part question. So what's the first thing you need to do? You need to find out how much she saved on Monday and Tuesday put together. So are we add, adding or subtracting? We're adding. So let's add Monday. So she got four, which it shows right here, four. She saved four. And on Tuesday, how many did she save? plus 7 more. What is 4 plus 7? 11. Now the next part of this is we need to see how much more money did Calissa save on Saturday than on those two days, Monday and Tuesday. So we know that she saved more on Saturday because it shows us our graph. If we look at, if we look at Saturday, she saved 15 and they want to know how much more. So we're going to add or subtract that. We're going to subtract. So we're going to take 15, or we're going to take the 11, because we've already figured that out. Put 15 in front of it. So 15 minus 11 equals how much? 4. The answer you should have gotten is four. Remember, you need to be showing your work just like I'm doing here. I did my first problem, and I did my second problem, and then I know my answer is four. Next question. How will the data change if Calissa doubles the amount of money she saved on Sunday? So go ahead and do this. You need to think about what does doubling mean, if she's going to double it, and you need to think, how much did she save on, on Sunday? Go ahead and do this problem on your own. Push pause and then push play when you're done. Okay, so how much did she save on Sunday? She saved 10. If we go to our graph, if we look right here, Sunday, 10. And if we double it, what does that mean? What is double? It means we're going to add that number again to itself. So 10 plus 10 equals, what is 10 plus 10? 20. Is that what you got? Good job. It is now your turn. We need to get your exit ticket. You are going to fill out this um, chart with all of your data. Make sure you put your title shown up here, your categories. Make sure you write your numbers. So one, two, three, and so on down here. Your categories are going here because this bar graph is going side to side. Then you need to answer all of the questions. I couldn't fit all the questions on this slide, so there's only one shown, but you need to do all of them, and you need to show your work. Show me how you got it. Most of you 
are not doing that. So you need to show it. Okay, good luck.